To cook with, you'll need a saucepan, cauldron, strainer, pan, and blender. Our spices are whole clove, thyme, oregano, black pepper, salt, onion, garlic, bay leaf, allspice, and cinnamon stick. You're going to put one tablespoon into a container for me of everything. We use pork shoulder, back rib, with, you will need, also need an onion, garlic, and your jalapenos, arbo, and ancho peppers for your meat. Your taco sauce, you need tomato, tomato, onion, garlic, arbo, chili, and tomato sauce. For your toppings, this is optional. I use cilantro, onion, green onion, and lime. Don't forget your tortillas and your choice of cheese. After you put one tablespoon into your seasoning container, go ahead and take two cinnamon sticks and put it underneath your rib. You'll then take half of your container and sprinkle on top to pre-season your meat before you put it in the oven at 400 for about 20 to 30 minutes until you get a nice, um, kind of like a beef jerky looking um, outside skin. We're not entirely cooking our meat in the oven. We're going to be finishing cooking it in our cauldron. This is just to preset the seasoning. Meanwhile, you will need to get guajillo, arbo, and ancho peppers. You're going to go ahead and get the seeds and stems out. Preferably, a lot of people don't put arbo chilies into their broth. I preferably do. I added about six. Guajillo peppers, I added about seven. And ancho peppers, I added personally four. You'll also need onion and a half. I added two onions. I had a garlic, which equated to about five cloves of garlic. One cinnamon stick and half as well. The other half of the top of where of seasoning goes in there as well. Starting on our sauce, you want two tomatoes, two, I picked two house tomatoes, a head of garlic, which equated five cloves, um, about ten arbo chilies, three bay leaves, of course, some water, um, some salt. We're going to boil this until the skin starts peeling off and it's ready to be blended. Meanwhile, our meat is in the oven cooking for 20 minutes and our tomatoes are starting to boil. You can go ahead and meal prep your toppings if you would like. This is how I, I prefer my meat to look before I put it into the cauldron. Once you put your meat into the cauldron, you're going to um, put it all the way to the top till it's covered with water. On the other side, your tomatoes are done so you can go ahead and blend those. I also added a little bit of cilantro, that's also um, preference. This recipe doesn't call for cilantro in there, but I love cilantro so much. I added just like a handful of some in there, which obviously makes your red sauce turn a little green. Um, but after you blend it and you shift this back into the pot in which it was cooking without water, um, you're gonna add an eight ounce of tomato sauce. So our meat is getting started over there starting to bubble a little bit. Sit about it, forget about it. It's gonna be about two to three hours until that one's ready. Here we're gonna start straining our tomato sauce from the blender.
once I'm done, once I'm done obsessing over that, I'm going to add a pinch of oregano and again that eight ounce of tomato sauce, and I'm going to let that simmer and mix it. Now our toppings and our taco sauce are officially done. After a couple hours, your meat should be nice and tender and falling right off that bone. You wanna go ahead and transfer that to a pan so you can go ahead and shred it. I shred it as I go, but if you have a family, it is a very nice, quick thing to do, and it's delicious to pick the food apart and you know, eat it, it's very delicious. So what's left in the pot is almost all your vegetables and some lots of seasonings. You're going to strain that for me times two, um, as you'll see in the video as well. You're also going to take any peppers or onions, garlic, or any of that stuff, and you're going to put it off to the side because we're going to blend that and redistribute that back into our broth once we strain that as well, and you'll see that here. All I can say is make sure you're not blending any bones, you're not blending any of your bay leaves, you're not blending any of your cloves. Just be wary about that. Make sure you're picking out just your peppers and your onions and your garlic to blend and redistribute back into your broth. All three of our peppers we added, our onion, and our garlic, right back in. I've seen a lot of recipes where they take the peppers and they boil them off to the side and then blend them and then put them in. I don't see why not cook them with the meat the entire um, lifespan and then we add it back in. I feel like it adds more flavor that way. took some water and I put it back into the blender, shook it a little bit to get the excess off and I put it right back in. So now after this step, you're going to go ahead and put it back on some heat and your broth base is basically complete. You're almost there.
Now it's my favorite part. We are going to make our taco. So take your choosing of tortilla. I take a about half a spoon here of our broth. I put our tortilla over it. I then add our cheese. I shred up with some of our meat and we put it on. Well, that's heating up. I want you to grab a bowl. I did a little bit backwards in this video, but it normally goes like this, where you'll shred some meat on the bottom of your bowl, grab as much taco sauce that we made, and add it to your meat. Then you'll grab about a full bowl of broth, and then there you have it. I did it backwards. I added my broth, then I added the meat, and then I added the taco sauce. I like to see how much meat I have in the bottom bowl because I like to match it with the taco sauce. So I added the taco sauce. There's our taco and an extra tortilla. We kind of come over here and show them the meat, like I said. And I want you to dress them up how you like them. I could add some green onion. I squeeze a lime onto the taco and I put the remains inside the bowl. Add some cilantro and onion. And then the best part is when we dip them and we can go swimming. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too fast paced. I try to do a slow version. I really want to get out there. That pork is a very good alternative to this beer recipe of how absorbent the meat is for the seasoning. I also really like the idea of adding taco sauce to the bottom of the bowl. It gives a whole different dynamic. Another thing I added, like I said, is the allspice and the cinnamon. And this tastes like a Christmas Mexican dish. If you end up making it exactly how you see it, Please let me know. I would like to hear if I'm just crazy, fanatic over this, or we're on to something.